This is the Schmo with the Pro with Coach Jason Perillo here at the Luca Gym. We just finished up making the Schmo do some sprints. How we doing? How we doing? I'm doing good, man. How are you doing? The schmo's good after that cold shower. We appreciate that towel. Hey, it's still hanging up in the bathroom. Got to return that to you. I appreciate that. Don't worry. There's a few holes in there, so you don't want to run off of that one. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, you did good on the sprint so out there. Oh, shit. Catch him, schmo. Catch him. Oh, we got some good push today. Appreciate that. He had to bring the schmo in there to make sure Cheetos getting ready all set for February 18th against Corey Sanhagen. 100%. You're pushing him out there. I appreciate it. Much appreciation, Smo. But why'd you move the distance? I thought we were supposed to go 60 yards, not 100 yards. And originally it was supposed to be 10 sprints. You moved it to 15. I knew the schmo was out there. I knew we had to, you know, let him know that, you know, how far we can push it and how hard we can push it out there, schmo. Yeah. Yeah. But when the schmo asked Cheeto Vera, you know, you get your hand raised against Corey Sanhagen, he's like a company guy. He's not saying, yes, I need this title shot next. I'm ready to fight for it, whatnot. He's just focusing on what's in front of him. But, Coach, don't you expect to be fighting for a world title this year in 2023? Yeah, I expect that. I definitely expect that. I mean, it makes the most sense. I mean, he has to – first, we've got to focus, obviously, on Corey Sanhagen. That's usually how we like to do it, not – you know, look a little too far ahead. But, yeah, we got a great fight in front of us now. I think he beats Sam Hagen. There's no reason why, you know, he's not arguably next in line for the title. And if Aljamain Sterling and Henry Cejudo dance, who do you think he's going to be fighting for that title? That's interesting. You know, it's hard to say. I mean, Cejudo, obviously, we haven't seen him fight in some time. So, I mean, he stays in the picture, obviously. He, he you know, you know he's, he's still floundering around the sport. So, I definitely... Sounds like he wants to fight. Sounds like he's going to fight, right? I mean, you probably know more than I do about that, but that will be a great fight. It, it, it's hard to say. Like I said, I haven't seen the dude fight, Henry, fight in years. You know, his last fight was against who, Dominic? Was that his Dominic last Cruz yeah. in Jacksonville, beginning yeah. of the pandemic. Yeah, and that was kind of a quicker fight as well. Didn't that end quick? Like, it ended quick. It ended quick, so it's hard to kind of judge where he's probably at these days. But it'll be an interesting fight. I just know that my guy, Cheeto Vera, is ready to fight any of them. And I think... With you saying that, being a company guy as well, but it's not even being a company guy. It's just kind of where he's at in his head. And it's his, in his mind right now, and, and rightfully so, believes that he can beat any of these guys in the top 10, top 5, and definitely the world champion, whoever it is, whether it's Algerman or Henry. It really makes no difference whatsoever. Yeah, but if we talk about the Brink truck, we talk about the big money fight, everyone wants to see the rematch between him and Sugar Sean O'Malley. You know when he finished Sugar Sean O'Malley? Sugar Sean O'Malley's only loss in the UFC. No, yep, that's that's definitely uh, lingers in the back of my head, and I know that's a great fight, but for me and for Sugar, you know, is that right, Sugar? Sugar, sugar yeah. with the A. Yeah, Sugar. Um Especially with him, I mean, both these guys, it makes the most sense for, you know, to be fighting for a title, too, as well. I mean, I would love, ultimately, to the guy, whether it's Cejudo or Algerman that wins that fight, cheat or compete against one of those guys, beat those guys, and fight Sean for the world title. I'm sure Sean would like to go both ways. I think that's a big money fight, and that's a, that's a huge fight in the future. Again, we're focused on Corey. I think that's the most important focus because he's as good as any of those guys out there. So, yeah, but I, that's going to be an exciting fight in the future. And let's talk about our boy Luke Rockhold. Back in the gym, motivated. He's not retired. He's released from the UFC duties. He wants Jake Paul. In fact, he wants to box. We know your boxing accolades. You going to get this guy ready? Maybe he's the backup. If Tommy Fury pulls out a third time, he's going to be ready. Maybe it's in Saudi Arabia. Maybe it's February 25th. Maybe, 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 and maybe. A lot of maybes. Yeah, and, and, and God bless Luke Rockhold, man. He's, he wants to fight. I mean, like I said... And we've talked about it plenty of times. His last fight, he's like, you know, I'm over this shit. You know, I mean, this is in again, again. That's in a in a cage. The boxing world's not much easier, obviously. You know, you're you're still getting cracked in the head, but it's something he really wants to do. And actually, he's training harder than he did for the Costa fight now, which is crazy because I think that's what happens too. With a lot of these guys at the end of their career, they 
think to themselves, hey, I'm, I, don't, I don't want to finish doing this shit. This is what I've done my whole life. This is what I love more than life itself. I want to continue to do it. So I think at the end of the day, he, he, for some reason, he just sparked a hunger. I think being around Cheeto and seeing how hungry Cheeto is all the time reminds him of, of, of what it's like and what you need to do to be the best in the world. And, uh, yeah, he's got, he's got some energy, the guy. And I'm hoping the best. I'm hoping he gets a big money fight. That'd be great. And you can't question his toughness or his heart because he fought an elevation and the first punch broke his nose. Couldn't even breathe out of that nose the entire fight. Yep. No, that's right. That's right. Yep. And, and, and as far as, I mean, he was conditioned as well, but, you know, being ready for a fight for that fight, it wasn't something that, you know, he had a couple injuries through camp or through training because he's been training for, you know, a while leading up to that fight. And, you know, it was tough to do the right things to be ready for a, for, for a fight, especially a fight with a guy like Costa. But Luke showed a tremendous amount of heart. Now, if he shows the same amount of dedication that he did heart in that last fight, I expect him out to go out and do very well with fighting any of these guys. And then we're expecting Mackenzie Return to come back inside the gym. She was just in Brazil. She was just at the big UFC pay-per-view, reinvigorating her. Because, listen, what's going on in that strawweight division right now? Because if you look at it, new champion, Zhang Wei Li, she's ready to go. Yeah. I mean, Mackenzie, we just got to get her back in the gym. Like you said, she's out in Brazil. She's got to get back in the gym, starts, you know, getting the grindstone. Just kind of focus on it. I mean, Mackenzie, there's another one. She's right there. She cracked in the top five. She's flowing right there between five and six, I believe. And, uh, yeah, she's, she's I mean, the, the, she has to be ready to fight anybody as well, you know. So I definitely expect, you know, big things with Mackenzie. I think it's going to be a slower pace than, let's say, Cheeto, obviously. But, you know, Cheeto's been on it a lot longer than she has as well. So, yeah, I expect good things at all. I, you know, the athletes that I work with, I always expect good things out of them if they're doing the right thing. How's the root canal? It's driving me crazy right now. Can you tell? I can tell. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm even lisping with it. I got stitches all up in my mouth. So, yeah. That root canal was no fun, but, you know, hopefully my fighters win their fights. That's even better. Yep. No pain, no gain. No pain, no gain. We'll let them take all the pain. I'll, I'll focus on the root canals and the yelling. Us? Ten more seconds. And the us? What? Shmo knows he, when, when they hit the pads, oos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oosh, that's me blowing out. Yeah. So I keep breathing. Yeah. I run out of breath. Yeah. Yeah. Can we get a final message for all the Jason Prill fans out there worldwide? Shmo's got some wheels. Guy's got some speed, man. Go watch his sprints if you can. Speed kills. He's the pro. I'm the Shmo, the Ruka Jim. We're out. We're out. We're out.